What are prenuptial and postnuptial agreements? What is required for these agreements? And when is it a good idea for a person to get one of these agreements? Hey everybody, this is Caleb Ballou, Associate Attorney at Martinson & Beeson. I want to talk to you today about the basics of prenuptial and postnuptial agreements. Now, you may have heard of these terms and not really understand kind of what they are or what they do. Um, just as a basic uh, premise, um, prenuptial and postnuptial agreements are marital contracts um, that prearrange for the division or protection of certain assets and liabilities that each person to a marriage uh, brings into that marriage. Um, for instance, um, a postnuptial or prenuptial agreement can deal with the division of retirement accounts or can protect those accounts. Um, investment accounts, um, checking accounts, any sorts of uh, any sorts of assets like that, real property, um, and debts as well. What's required for these agreements? Well, the basic tenets of, of contract law apply. Um, both parties have to be competent and they have to be a, a have the ability to enter into a contract, uh, meaning they have to be um, over the age of 19 years old, they have to be competent. Um, and there has to be a full disclosure of all the marital assets and liabilities that the person wants um, or the people want protected um, or divided. It's also important that both parties be represented by an attorney. Um, and if one party is not represented by an attorney, they have to be um, notified um, and acknowledge that it is in their best right, um, best interest to get an attorney. Um, and they have to knowingly and voluntarily waive their right to an attorney. Um, so the attorney for both parties or both parties' ability to get an attorney and a knowing waiver of that ability to get an attorney is very important for the contract as well. And when is it a good idea um, to get a prenuptial or postnuptial agreement? Certainly, each case is different and you'll have to consult with your, with your attorney about that um, but some basic things to consider uh, as to whether or not these contracts may be suited for your situation is whether or not um, this is um, a multiple marriage um, for you, uh, whether or not you may have children um, by a previous relationship, um, whether or not you may receive a decent amount of your assets um, from capital gains or investment income um, from a trust or another investment account. Those sorts of things are very important to consider. Um, it's also important to consider um, the asset to debt ratio of the person that you may be getting married to. Um, and I know that that sounds callous, but that, that's an important consideration as well. If um, you've got any questions or concerns about a postnuptial or a prenuptial agreement and whether that agreement may be right for you, feel free to contact us at Martinson and Beeson. Um, our phone number is 256-533-1667. Also, feel free to like uh, this video and share it on social media, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later.